all right my people welcome back onto this channel well still on the matter yoruba nation no going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are talking about hmm. my brother my sister matters are rising this one i am about to tell you right now is something that everybody needs to take into you no know, consideration hmm Hmm, Yoruba nation not going back. Well, I, I, I came across a lot of Yoruba nation agitators that have now, you no, know, I would like put it, they have now basleded that they have compromised the movement. Meaning, they are no longer for Yoruba nation movement since Bola Ahmed Tinubu won. It's a pity that we still have people like that that believe with Bola Ahmed Tinumbu as a president, then the Yoruba Nation movement is no longer needed. Oh my God. It's a pity that all this kind of you no know, imagination or belief can still happen amongst the Yoruba Nation agitators who had been leading the people before Bola Ahmed Tinumbu get into power. Yes, there's no doubt Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is a Yoruba man. We all know that. And uh, he is the president. He has been doing exploits. But my brother, my sister, don't let us get it twisted. Hey, we have to wake up. We have to wake up. Ah, yes, Bola Ahmed Tinubu will use eight years. Don't forget. Ah, yes, he will use eight years. After eight years, what do you think will happen to the Yoruba people? I have my reasons. Okay, let's take for instance, look at what is happening in Oyo State. He's saying right now. Now, you want to tell me that these people don't know that a Yoruba man is the president right now? That they went to kidnap, kill, destroy lives and properties just of recent, just some days ago right now. What does that tell you? If you are a wise man, what does that tell you? Hmm. What has Bola Metinubu done about that right now as we are speaking? I am very sure this can never happen in the north when Buari is our president, that they will not attack their own people and then you know, the president will not be mute for more than 24 hours. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anybody can even try it to the extent when their own killer terrorists, when they were caught, the same Buhari said they should not touch them. And he sent them to rehabilitation school that they will repent. <laughs> my brother, my sister, what is going on in Yoruba land? Who is deceiving who? Who is actually believing that the Yoruba Nation movement should not continue because a Yoruba man is there as a president? Well, I am very, very scared for the Yoruba people. I am very, very scared for, for the you know, generation unborn. Hmm. Because their father, their parents, are so, they are so weak. And then they are so you know, easily forgiven. They forget. They forget so easily about what has happened in the past. Let me take for instance. In fact, before I go to the analysis right now, let's talk about what is happening in Isain. A lot of people are being killed right now, kidnapped, and then we all know the reason why Chief Sunday Igboho came to. Yoruba land came to Igangan to say, Oh, he wants to rescue his people after a majority of you no know, people have been killed, after life have been wasted, after important personality's life have been you no know, wasted. Hmm. Somebody came from Germany, Dr. Borede, to say he wants to bring a better life in the life of his to the life of his yoruba people what happened these fulani people they saw everything they were like oh the land that we we want to take over you, you are coming in to you know to repair to establish 
we will not allow that what happened they killed him has anybody thought of that that the Fulanis are everywhere most especially in yoruba land they want to take over by all means don't get it twisted these people are still where they are yes they already they already knew bola metinumbu or yoruba man might take over that's why buhari had to you know set them on ground don't get it twisted those weapons those firefighter those jet fighter hmm. my brother my sister bomb everything is still where it stays these people want to take over the land in case you don't know for as many people that are there saying our yoruba man is the one there each time i remember that his vice president is sheti man i always shed tears for the yoruba people hey <laughs> now Shetima is there a lot of people don't know what is going on you see uh, you see the fulanese when they want to catch you hmm? they will pretend you would have forgotten yourself they will pretend as if they are so lawyer now Shetima is there being lawyer right pretending to be lawyer quiet anything they ask him to do he will do right so that it will take away the you know, eyes of people from where he is because he already knew a lot of people know his history yes we are watching them closely we are watching them closely Bola Metinubu believes oh he's already there right now and uh, he's trying to you know buy the heart of the people simply because of what the people have complained about majority of Yoruba people don't know this <laughs> my brother my sister the sayings you no know, crisis that is happening right now should give any wise man sign that these people are not playing <laughs> right now they are killing all the you know rich men one after the other the people they believe that you no know, can sponsor to fight them they are bringing them down one after the other that's their strategy when they see that oh you are very rich in that yoruba land they will make sure they bring down the rich people first and uh, these fulani people that you are seeing they can operate for the next one year to execute their plans they will not rush you the people would have they will make sure that you have relaxed you have forgotten yourself but right now in case you don't know the truth of the matter right now is that their agenda is to bring down all the rich people in yoruba land one after the other so that they will be able to perpetrate their evil because they believe that when it starts it's the rich people that can equip their people they can give them ammunition to fight them back so right now they are planning they are strategizing on killing every rich man in the land if you are a rich man in the land in yoruba land right now you have to be vigilant be watchful be watchful that is why the yoruba people need to wake up right now a lot of people have actually reacted to what is going on though this man this presenter called out to came out the manner to which he brought the idea was very wrong in the first place this man never liked chief sunday Bo. in the first place he never liked chief sunday Bo. secondly this man does not believe in yoruba nation movement he already even said it that bola metinubu should bring chief sunday Bo to nigeria simply because of his own selfish gain he doesn't care what happens to Chief Sunday, but his own is let him come and fight for the people of his saying. Of which, throughout that Chief Sunday Bo was in Benin Republic, this man till date never called him one day to even say, Okay, let me go and visit him. He never did. Those are the enemies of Yoruba land. Now, this man is now, you no. Know, as an hypocrite calling out Bola Metinubu to bring in Chief Sunday Bowo as what? As their servant to, to fight. His own is to come and fight for you people. And the you people should just talk anyhow about him. 
what is what is your gain and what is going to be his gain in the first place my brother my sister a lot of things are actually happening right now the people have said it that before that eight years even if bola metinubu is not careful hey we pray you should see the light of the day before that time now they know why they use in fact let me use that word shocking they shocking shetima to monitor bola metinubu they are studying his strength his weakness now bola metinubu is not in the country right shetima is a kind of taking over a lot of people said oh he went to france for some meetings to be, uh, to benefit the Yoruba people, of which Shetima already knows that Bola Metunubu went to meet his doctor. They know his health. They are studying him. Fulani people can pretend for months. That's why they can live in the forest without stress. Yes. Right now, I think the best thing for this movement right now for Yoruba nation. In fact, Yoruba nation must not stop. It is very important. Hey, either you like it or not, don't let anybody deceive you. That, oh, yes, our man is the one there. A Yoruba man is the one there. He's going to tackle it. Even if Bola Metinubu want to, you know, secure Yoruba land, my brother, my sister, let that Yoruba nation agitation still be on your lips. Don't be relaxed. My brother, my sister, don't be relaxed. Right now, the president, in fact, I don't know whether there are some air schools in Yoruba land. We have the governor. We don't know what the governor is doing. Because right now, me, I'm surprised. I'm shocked that Fulani can come to his land, be killing people, and the, the governor never deem it fit to set out his Amotekun. I don't know where the Amotekun are. I don't know if they need, maybe they need more, you know, security personnel to come out so that they can work in full force i don't see reason why there will be a motekun yet not an answer that no it's not their land my brother my sister they, they came from their own land to be intimidating your people yet you are relaxed you are relaxed i don't know who you are actually working for buari is no longer there so what is what is the problem right now what is going on? Is it until they kill everybody? Is it until they finish everybody? They wipe out everybody that everybody, uh, all the leaders, the governors, the councillors, the rest of them, the monarchs, will now wake up that they need to fight for their land. And don't get it twisted. All these people that they are killing, they are Yoruba people. You don't need to wait for Chief Sunday go. Nobody should be calling on Chief Sunday go right now. If you say you are waiting for Chief Sunday go, that means you people are wicked. That means you people are not ready to, to take care of your brothers and sisters. You cannot tell me Chief Sunday go is the only powerful man in, in Yoruba land. No, 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 no. You cannot say that. You cannot say Chief Sunday go is you no know, is more powerful than you no know, millions of people in Yoruba land. We should just stop all these hypocrites. What Kola Olotu has done is hypocrite. Yes. It's hypocritical. Right now, a lot of people have actually reacted in different forms. That the Yoruba Nation movement must not stop. I heard a lot of media coming out to say, oh, now that Bola Metunubu is there, that we don't need Yoruba Nation Movement again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who said? With 1999 constitution, my brother, the Yoruba is not free. That is why they can invade Isen land and they, they, they killed a lot of people. Look at... They even killed one rich man in that land. After the man, according to the news reaching us, after the man paid the ransom of 40 million naira, they did all sorts of damage to the man. Only God knows if it, it's like they injected him. Because immediately the man got, they released him after the 40 million naira. They already knew that he would not survive it because of what they have done to him. 
at the end of it all when they took the man to the hospital the man died he, he didn't make it after he paid 40 million and just in his saying of recent these few days it happened while we have a president is sitting a yoruba sitting president that's where the problem is as far as this 1999 constitution is concerned my people don't get it twisted the yoruba people the warriors we have warriors we have we have the hunters the agbe Koyas. we have a lot of them powerful people the only thing i believe they need is sophisticated weapons if tinumbu sorry if the former president buhari can release ak-47 for his people to invade yoruba land my brother my sister i think nothing stops tinumbu to start that right now if he actually loves his people if he actually knows what he's doing yes we know he just resumed but there shouldn't be killing at all it's an insult it's a slap on his face there should have been killing of any yoruba person oh my goodness there shouldn't be that that shouldn't happen it shouldn't happen it's an insult and then even if it happens it shouldn't take up to 24 hours to to comb that forest and then who are the people that will do that you don't you should not wait for sunday bro. we have men all they need is the backing of the president the backing of the governor pump out this money no matter how you want to do it even if you want to do it codedly as the president there's a way you will do that let these people let the people of his saying let them let these people have rest of mind they should be able to come out and uh, testify that oh thank god we have a yoruba man as a president let all these people be equipped with you no know, weapons in any form they can pray they talk about the sheshe yes in any form your church your pastor be you a pastor be you a a muslim malim i don't know how they call that yes be you a pastor be you a prophet be you an afar an allergy the sheshe man everybody needs this is the time for everybody to come out you don't wait for the federal government to do everything for you let the boys assemble themselves then you have you send a delegate a representative to go to Aso Rock. This is what we need. This is what we need. We need to protect our land. Comb all the forest. We don't know what the governor is doing. This exactly is job. This is what he's supposed to be doing. And let every governor in your uh, in the Yoruba states, yes, in the southwestern state of Nigeria, let every governor do the needful. They should do the same thing. Henceforth comb all the forest sponsor the warriors feed them morning afternoon evening pay them salary i tell you my brother and my sister there will be peace in the yoruba land there's been a lot of reactions though a lot of people have actually reacted onto this manner what exactly is going on hmm. what exactly is going on why will it be that the yoruba people will not have rest why is it that all the warriors are hiding? Because we learned that there are 10,000 of Igbo. You don't need to think of Igbo if this is hypocritical. Igbo is not in Nigeria. I said it earlier, Igbo is not the governor of Oyo State. And uh, he's not the president. The best thing needs to be done, which is let the governor come out. Let the youth let the representatives come out and then take take it upon themselves that we will not allow this to happen let there be escorts all over the yoruba states representatives coordinators come out and then set 
the forest on fire. There must never be space for the Fulanis anymore in Yoruba land. My brother, my sister, if this is not being put in place immediately, then there will be trouble. Yes, there will be trouble. Because, hmm, according to what somebody has said, he said, even if Bola met Tinumbu put a Yoruba man or Yoruba people in all the posts, they will not assist the fellow Yorubas. That means they will not even come out to say they want, they will not come out for the rescue of the Yoruba people. What they will, also, or what they will do is to fight for themselves. And that is why the land had been like this. Look at killing off innocent souls. Right now, don't get it twisted. These people are not going to stop in only saying. They will be coming closer, little by little. Take note of this. Any rich man in Yoruba land is their target. In case you don't know. Because they want to bring down all the rich people that might want to say, oh, they want to sponsor them later. These Fulani people you are saying, they all have, they have what it takes. All their munitions, everything, they have them in the in the forest as we speak. In case you don't know, hey, my brother, my sister, this is no longer a joke. This is no longer a joke. Everybody wake up. Yes. If they want to release Chief Sunday, they should release him on on a note of him coming to nigeria to relax not that he should not carry it upon himself before they will not say oh yes he's back again because definitely chief sunday boy is the target of 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 all the politicians because i don't know the one that is pure again he's the target of all the politicians it is not over until it is over chief sunday boy definitely will come to yoruba land but he's going to come like a king, not like a warrior, in case you don't know. In fact, as soon as Chief Sunday Boy is released, I think the first place for him to go is Germany or United States of America. He should just go and take care of himself, relax, and enjoy his life. Let all the youth come out. If the governor says he's not ready, he's not ready to fight for you people, come out, start it. Before he knew it, he will be put to shame. And exactly what it is. Oh, else, my brother, my sister. <laughs> it will be wrong. It will be disastrous. Yes. Don't say because Tinumbu is now there, a Yoruba man, then we should forget about Yoruba nation. You lie. You deceive yourself. That means you don't love yourself. You don't love your generation unborn. You don't love your children. May the good Lord continue to help us. Well, my brother, my sister, this is exactly what it is. Onto this one, what more can we say? Me, well, let me have your own take on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel. All right, thanks and God bless.